They said, if she was in the UK, she I would have freaking ripped her head off. Mommy. Look at this, look at this, Hamza, look at the building. You look like a dwarf in front of the building, mate. <laughs> I'm joking. Nice. Day two in Sweden. Yeah. What I did last night is I didn't do that much. Came back to the hotel. Staying in the hotel last night. Didn't do that much. So today we just had breakfast in the morning, which was very nice, you know. The standard cereal, bread, omelette, fruit, wedge, all that. Today what we're gonna do is go to one of the shopping centres at St George's that we have go there, explore there, have a look there and then maybe go to another place to eat later on so I'm just waiting for my family to come down I'm gonna make our way there yeah, you know, buy some uh, something for something to keep for, you know a souvenir, fridge magnet or key ring for myself yeah, can't wait, day two is already done a day two's already started. Then we've got one more day tomorrow. Wednesday morning, probably go out, maybe do a little walk around somewhere else. We went to, we went north of the Gothenburg. Now we're gonna go on the west side of Gothenburg, well, from the hotel. We're gonna go when we come out, we're gonna go left and left again, and go that side, so to towards like you know where the shops are. Spend the day there. Oh, that chicken fam. Spend the day there and then come back to the hotel in the evening and then probably just chill do my prayer go back to sleep at eight o'clock nine o'clock um, it's Wiener time and then get up Wednesday morning have breakfast yeah so get up tomorrow oh no it's Monday today get up tomorrow Tuesday do some else tomorrow and then Wednesday get up have a little chill pill and then go back to the airport in the afternoon at probably like five you know, our flight's at 9 o'clock, got in for 5. It's gonna be a bit rushy, isn't it? Traffic, rush hour. See you in the morning then, we're gonna, I'm gonna relax and then get ready and go to the mall and then see that. Right, I'll see you when I go to the shopping centre, yeah? I'll keep you updated, the weather looks alright. Yeah, it doesn't look too cold. Right, it's blue skies, so it should be fine. But I'll cut you when I'm on the way to the shopping centre, yeah? Peace. So, we were just walking around and uh, they just lived his shop. We got, so we just come down from the side of the hotel and carry on. We're near to the city. We've got some nice shops here. We've got this. It's a model of the, it's a, it's a gun, obviously. And if anyone knows Swedish, please translate this to me. Because I don't know what he says. Yeah, so we've just come and uh, they just slipped to his shop. We are going to... we're still carrying on. It's nice, but well, it's sunny and it's a bit cold. But it's not that bad. I must admit, it's not that bad. And uh, we crossed the road again. It's so awkward, look at that thing. Look at that view, look at that view now. You know, it's so nice because so many buildings, I've realised, it's got so many buildings come back to it. Like in England, we don't have that many buildings. These have got buildings left, right, centre, like massive, massive buildings compared to woods, which is amazing. The architect looks brilliant. If you can see there, we've got houses everywhere, man. Buildings everywhere, restaurants, takeaway shops. And yeah, so we're just close by to the um, uh, shopping centre. And then uh, I will record that. So, I'm just have a look. You know, it looks alright. There's shops everywhere. The clothes shop. You know, you see, everything is open. Well, it should be open anyway. It's not bad. I'm gonna buy a coffee. I'm gonna buy a coffee from that shop. Buy a nice little coffee from Gothenburg. Wow. Apart from that, it doesn't look that bad. It's nice. It's just buildings. It's just buildings. I said. You don't get, you got parks in here and there, but it's no grass. Building stone, that's it. This is my view, look. Buildings everywhere, that's it, guys. Buildings everywhere, and all in Swedish. Which is mint. So, we're going that way. 
So I'll see you in a bit. And yeah, catching the shop. Come and I go to Google. This uh, this is a plaza. I don't know what you call it, but we've got a guy a statue here. We've got buildings there. We've got buildings there. Now, according to Google, I think it's the 300 anniversary for the city. Let me. On here it says the public square in Gothenburg is in the southern end of Aveni and the city's main Bollywood reward. So the square is empty guarded when Gothenburg held a major international industrial exhibition in 1923. So it's celebrating their 300th anniversary, basically. That's why Ultra Hub and all that. That's what, that's what maps were saying. So this is celebrating 300 years of Gothenburg. Big city. It's a real historic building there, and you know, I don't think we can enter it, but it looks really gorgeous and nice. Yeah, I don't know that that is a theatre, but you got buildings everywhere, like I said. I guess he's here, Mr. Hamzi Malik. Hamza, what are you doing, lad? Guys, I'm just going to make this quick stop to save the snap. Guys, make sure you subscribe to Abbas's Snapchat. One second, I'm just making a snap for memory. Look at this, look at this, Hamza, look at the building. You look like a dwarf in front of the building, mate. <laughs> I'm Guys. joking. How are you? So experience-wise, what's, what's been going on today, Hamza? Come on, tell, them, tell my family today. What have you been doing today? Go on. I'm just going to make on, bro. I just made a snap. I just want to save it mm -hmm. uh, for memories and that. Yeah. But we're out here. What do you think of Gothenburg? It's amazing, bro. Is it? I love it, bro. Oh, yeah. Come on, who doesn't? <laughs> yeah, so can you tell me what you've been doing yesterday? What's your day? What did you do yesterday? You saw the yesterday vlog. You made the yesterday vlog. What do you think we did? Hey, take a picture of me. Not in front of the statue, but over there, please. Because yeah, down there is the city mall. So, Hamza, how, how's Okay, tell me, what's your plan tonight? What are you, you going to do today in Gothenburg? Just walk around. Explore the other side of the city, you know. I don't make like memories. Look at the way you make your eyes. With him. The eyes look so bright, oh, man. Shut up. Some. Oh, shut look up. at you. Let me see the eyes. Look at guys, you. That is not the city. Look at him. Look at him. Let me do be silly. Look, rapping JD, lad. JD, JD, oh, Puma. No, I'm not about the JD bag. You only get JD from England. They don't have JD. It's Swedish. Sweden. Sweden. Look at you. Perfect fit there, bro. Right, guys. We're gonna go to the shopping mall soon. I'm going to record it inside there, yeah? What we find there is on the other side of the road. I, I checked the match before and I told these and they won't listen. Wow! Well, here in Gothenburg, mashallah, me and my family. It looks mint. Snapchat 2022, yeah, man! So we walked it down, we walked it around the building. So we come out of um, down there and it's like it's buildings everywhere, particularly in the town. Do you coffee here? How much is coffee? 74 Corona. Oh, yeah, I don't even know what coffee is. <laughs> anyway, so we managed to come. That was, I was down there. I was down there putting the gun and all that. Oh, God. Where the fuel I'm doing to that? Still don't know. Everyone's on the opposite side. Oh, shit. They got a car coming there. So we got 7 Eleven there. That's where we're going to go after. And then we got that, that mall. Right, that's McDonald's. First of all, city you got there is City Abrin, Abrinley. That's where we're gonna go next. And that's like apparently that's shopping centre. So I'm gonna go inside there in a bit. Got McDonald's too. I'm not gonna buy anything for McDonald's. And I'm going 7 Eleven. And we've got this shop here, which we're, I'm gonna walk inside. And it's just a shoe shop. So I don't know if they're gonna let me go. Looks nice. It's just shoes. Everywhere that's it. Hamza, are you going to buy some shoes? Are you going to buy some shoes? I'm thinking I'm going to buy it. <laughs> How much is it compared to ours? Is it expensive? It's the same one I have. Let me see. That's like for girls, man. I know, but how much is it? Okay, how how much, much is it? I have yeah. this one. Yeah. At the beginning, it's like 1,209. What? 1,209? Corona? It's how much is? Don't want to check. They're from Sports Direct and they only cost like £25, £30. No, they're from um, Sports Direct. No, they're asking for, uh, what's it called? Where? The Sports Direct. Town. No, the one in town. 
Sports Direct. No. JD. No, it's Marks and Spencer. Look. Oh. Well, I'm there. Yeah, my, uh, Matalan. Matalan. Oh, you bought it from Matalan, yeah. For 20 quid, 25 pounds. No, 15, I think. 15 Sports Direct. I've got the same shoes as you for yeah. 25. I've had it. Shall I buy some glasses? No. I think this is a good shop, isn't it? Alright, I'll see you in a bit. Making memories 2022 with the family, guys. Peace. So, Mom, could we actually go inside then? Fly, flying Tiger, what's Flying Tiger? We have Flying Tiger shop here. Chalo then, Mom. Shopping needs on our shopping mall. The shopping center right there. That's the shopping center. Fine, go there then, let's go to Lindex. You wanna go to Lindex? I don't know how you pronounce it. Mom, Lindex, Cholo then. Right, we're going to, here it is. City, Aven, Aveni, Aveni. I can't pronounce it much. So, the only shops here, that's why it is. Quite tall. Buildings everywhere, like I said, a billion times. Oh, MG. Yeah, one's open, 10 to 7. Yeah. Smells, smells nice, got perfume. Cube, upper tug. Oh my god, he's going with ooh, a house. That's my coffee. Probably a cost of this, isn't it? Look at this, how cool is that? I'm like, how cool is that? Look, you got the logo there. Oh. Huh? The coffee like this. There's a shopping center in there. It looks quite small, but then again, it goes down in it. Look. Right, dropping my camera. It looks, it's going, it looks like. It's, it's quite small. I thought it would be bigger. I thought it'd be more bigger, to be honest with you. In it, Hamza, what do you think? Yeah. But I'm surprised it's not cold. Hey? I thought it would be bigger, I might buy a coffee from there. But I'm gonna go inside the shop and we're gonna see what's happening is, yeah. This girl, this lady, I swear down, she flipping her and made a so finger the, on me. She put her made a finger on me, that little stupid. I swear, I was, we were just in that store here, yeah. Flying Tigers, yeah, here. I thought she was gonna say something. And she puts her middle finger. And she's walking. She's putting my finger behind the back of cheeky. Show me me, man. And I was like, what the hell's going on, the racist lady? She's gone now. I was I, I should have put my camera on. Fucking no. Uh, <laughs> if, if she if Stop she was walking in the UK, yeah. Dope. If she was walking in the UK, we would not let her go. If this wasn't Pakistan, we would twat her. I don't know where she got not. I thought she was just doing something and I realized she's swimming. I shouted to excuse me and she walked off. My mom's like, don't go, don't do anything. I was like, what the hell is she gonna do? Why is she putting the finger at me? Because of what? Because of a Muslim racist lady. Honest to God, that's just made me fuming and pissed off with her now. If I see her again, I'm putting her on camera. I'm gonna confront her. I don't give it two crabs. I'm gonna, I should have recorded it and uploaded it on YouTube to show not everyone's the same in this world. You know what I'm saying? People are just hating on other people because of their skin color. And I'm just surprised she actually did it and she walked off like nothing happened. And no one said anything. That's abuse, that. Uh. I'm getting abused by a Swedish lady who doesn't like Asians. And everyone seemed nice to me. It's just that lady who's just been there uh, painting this. Listen, listen, if she was in the UK, I would have fucking ripped her head off. I would have kicked her. Yeah. You know, I would actually call the Swedish and, police. And if it was in Pakistan, she would get slapped. She would have got twatted by all the, everyone. She's the lucky old women. lady. Honest to God, she's lucky that like, she's in Sweden. And we don't know that much. I would have told one of the guys or ladies and told them straight away, like, oh, you know, this lady's staring at me. What shall I do? Anyway, guys, that's really just gone on my nerves. Ah, I can't me. believe it. She just put a middle listen, finger listen, listen. at me. I was, I was going to go back to her. Anyway, yeah, Hamza's going to go back to her. Yeah. And then uh, I, I pulled Hamza back and was like, leave her, man. Experience her. <laughs> Experience good to her. Right, so we're gonna go to 7 Eleven now and see if there's any souvenirs. Look at this tent. It looks so nice how it's like a tent. Well, ish, in front of a building. Wow. Yeah.
I have a little Swedish man ball into you. You have to pay for that, you know that? Yeah. No, I checked on Google anyway. Right. So walk in and uh, look at this view. Wow. There's a bridge over there. We might, we're going to walk there anyway. What's this building? There's lots of buildings. Looks like. We're going to go into a park here. We've got a nice sunny day. Right. So we are walking, we just walked down from down there and there's a park here with a bridge and water. We're going to take some pictures. We're going to go inside this park. I don't know what it's called. Have a nice little walk down the park. It's near the um, uh, river, well, water park. So this is what it's called. That's what it's called. Yeah. This is welcome to the Garden Society of Gothenburg. Ow. Oh, they got lots of statues, I don't know why. They got little statues, but it looks nice. They got a water area, like you know, canal or river. It looks nice. It's not, it's not big as more park, but it's true. You know, they got parks scattered around. It's scattered around Gothenburg, like you know, like here, there, and everywhere. I'll show you this. This is a map of the park park right where are we uh i don't even know where we are we're there so this is the whole thing so at least it's got english i might go on some slides <laughs> yeah that's that done Right, uh, what's this? Probably the social media, you know, plugging themselves. So as I'm walking down, on my left, we got this, buildings. That looks like a house that, well, a hotel probably. I don't even think I've seen the handmark. The trees look like they're gonna fall. All, obviously, is no leaves. I don't know what to vlog about to be honest. Bloody hell, it's not easy vlogging. It's basically describing what I'm doing. So I'm gonna see if I can go on that side and sit there. Let's the water, put my hand down now. I'm not gonna do that. Hey look, we've got a bit of ducks. How cute is that? We've got ducks here. Oh my god. It looks so cute. We've got ducks here. Quack. We've got some ducks. I don't so all the ducks are here. It looks so nice, looks so nice, right? So that's it. We've got a crane there in the background, and we got water. Got more buildings. In Gof Gothenburg, centre Gothenburg, and yeah, it looks nice. There's not much to talk about a park, is there? Because a park's a park, and it's just got leaves, trees, grass. We got like some wood. Well, I must have cut some trees down. You can see logs everywhere. There's wet floor, which I don't like. The duck there. Ah, oh, crap, the floor, man. We got ducks there. Hi. Yo, I look at them all chilling here. Like, they're all sunbathing. Quag. Looks so cute. Look at them all. Mashallah. Wow. All the chasing the plane, duck, duck, goose. Oh, sheesh. Look at them. What are they doing? Come here, come here, little fella. Wow. Come here, some duck. Look at that sign. Zoom in, zoom out. Look at that. I better go. Oh, some more ducks here. Goose, ducks. I don't like flipping the floors all the way. Right, we've got some ducks. Bye, ducks. <laughs> it looks cute, mashallah. You know, they're a little chilling in the water. Look at this bird. How cute is this? A duck and a bird. Wow, I didn't even realize. I think I scared them. Yeah, I am scaring them. Wow. The wolf's just sleeping. You're right. So cute. A lot of creation. So cute. How they managed to. Look at this pigeon. Where are you going, mate? I'm talking to ducks. Oh, there we go. Look at them. 
I'm in a little. Hey, this is your city, don't worry. Wow, that just looks nice, amazing. Right, I'm gonna stop recording the ducks now. Carry on walking with my family. I don't know how they have a peace for life, honest to God. Better than us. You're know, just sitting there chilling like nothing, nothing's gonna happen to them, you know what I'm saying? I mean, walking. I wonder what that building is. Wow, theatre probably. You said there's a theatre here. Yeah. I think that's the theatre or somewhere down there. I want to go on the ferry, guys. <laughs> yeah, so we're going to go and find a ferry. I'll see you in a bit. We've come to a market, so it looks very nice. Wow, it's like a massive building. And it's a market, and we've got loads of food, Swedish. That guy behind me down there, he's got baklava. So I'm gonna see him, I'm gonna buy a half a kilo of baklava or something. But it's nice and small, it's like a little restaurant. Well, it's just like a market, that's it. It's just little shops around one massive building at our market in town. Interesting. Uh, it looks nice. It's got a variety of food everywhere. Wow. Bun. Looks nice. It's just. It's just a nice white place man. Yeah, it looks nice. We got so much so much things going on, so much food. You know, I'm gonna go to the souvenir shop after this. Yeah, are you buying baklava? Right. I'm gonna go and see I'm gonna shop here for a bit. It's like a train station. I thought it was originally I thought it was a train station to be honest. Sorry. That guy, that person is not watching where they're going. So I'm gonna basically cut it short and I'm gonna go and then um, see you later. That shop, is this a um, chop shop? Do you know where we just went in? So from that that building there, there's Solly Holden. There's, there's a guy who sells uh, baklava. He's a good, they look really yummy. And this other girl who's like two shops down from the middle, she sold bakery, she raised the and then uh, she sold like a little cake with walnut, that was delicious, and then I got my sister a, a, a walnut brownie, looks amazing, love it, Swedish food is nice man, Swedish food is nice, and now we're just gonna go for a trip, actually great that, I'll give her a five out of five, five out of five, my aunt is calling me, you get up and don't judge you, come, I was even different man, I'm, I'm working. Right. How's it going, Emma? I'm busy. How's it going? How's it going? I'm at work. Right. Anyway, so I recommend if if you like come to Gothenburg, go there. Go there. It's like north of Gothenburg into town. It's really nice. I love it. I'm gonna have the Swiss log. Maybe later today with some work in town, or I'm just gonna have it when I'm I'm hungry. That's it. I'm gonna buy some. And then uh, it, yeah, I'll have it later when I'm hungry today. Probably like in the next two hours when I'm hungry because I had a nice breakfast. But it looks nice. Look at this. Wow. I swear, it's more vibing than us. There's so much more going on. And it's so thingy. So many people and so much. Like, you know. Oh, we've got IKEA here. <laughs> Look at this. We've got IKEA in, this, in Sweden. IKEA. We've got one in Warrington. I'm one in Manchester, there, won't it? Wow, it's a lot smaller than ours out here. And we've got some side street here. Yeah? I'm gonna go and do more shopping with family. Speak to you later. So we've just come down. And uh, look at this. So over there, oh God. We've got, we got people, I don't know. People. We've got so many people. That's the last thing I need to do is record people. And then look, we've got Chanel. We've got Chanel there. We got vans there. It's nice, you know. I'm actually so happy to come to Sweden. There's so many brands and so many shops. They're all like bloody expensive. 179 for shit. Flipping hell. 179 Corona for shit. That's expensive. That. And you can tell every shop and everything is getting a bit pricey now as we're going to town. Hamza, what's your opinion about this? Huh? We're just going to look for somewhere to eat. I'm just going to eat. 
What you should, you should think about it. Hamzal, you look tired, bro. Come here, come in the shower. You look so tired, don't you? Wow. I'm, I'm walking around that way. Oh, wow, this is probably the most walking you've done ever. I was calm anyway. Huh? I was calm anyway. I was just Yeah, what's that? What's that? I mean, it's probably just another... Uh, look, you see there? Another massive shopping centre there with a lover. It looks nice though. Dining only. There's a lot of shops. Yeah. Right. There are shops everywhere. I feel like I'm gonna go. Oh my god, we got a boss. I think I'm gonna go into boss, you go boss. So that's gonna be I'm not I don't we don't have any in Manchester, I don't think, or Preston. We definitely don't have any in Preston. We got a boss, you go boss. Oh my god. Flipping now. Oh, is that AJ then? Boss, you go boss. Wow. What's this? Mango. Mango. Bolly. Bolly. Wow. That's probably another, yeah, that's another shopping mall. Shopping centre. It's a nice day to shop. I need some sunglasses to be honest. I left them at home. What time are we on? 12 o'clock already. 11 o'clock in UK time. Wow. Right, I'll keep you updated where we're going. Where are we going? So we're going to this shop. And it looks very fancy. Ockerden. Oh, this is Ockerden. I always wanted to go to this one. Ockerden shopping mall. Thank you. I'm not sure learning a bit Swedish and learn what thank you is in Sweden. Right, off camera now. Right. It looks fancy, guys. It's so nice. Oh my god, fix my phone. Look at that. Wow, you got like a little setting area, a public coffee shop, and you got all that ceiling with LED lights in the ceiling. It looks mad. You got a tree here, you got a coffee shop, like probably like a Starbucks thingy, what do you call it? Starbucks and Costa. We got this shop. And then watch a certain place. Amazing. I'm just blown away. Look, I'm coming to Sweden again to be honest. I'll come again and go to different parts of Sweden or go in Gothenburg and go to the other side of Gothenburg. Maybe hire a car around each other next time and drive around. This looks nice. Lamps. Shops. Lamps. Yeah. Keep you updated when I'm going. Looks all nice. It's unique too, man. Unique too. Go along that shopping mall and we're coming yeah. to the shop yeah. here. So as you can Put see, we just came. Wait, I'm vlogging here, mate. And we managed to find an Apple store at one of the Apple retailers. For room, for room. I'm leaving this shop now, so I'll, I'll put a picture of here or here just now. And Zaka is second inside, basically, Rest of Creators, which is a premium Apple reseller. Put a part of Apple in the way. So like a third party who does Apple gear, who sell Apple stuff. So I managed to go there. It wasn't that bad. It was expensive. I'll give it. I'll give it like, like Apple. It's expensive, but I prefer to buy it from our Apple in UK than they're here because it's very expensive. Yeah. So basically, we went to an Apple store. I took a picture for memories, and yeah, it's it's pretty it's pretty expensive like normal Apple. And I will just come back into that shopping centre. And we're going. We're gonna go back now. See where we go. We'll go maybe go have a coffee or something to eat. Go back. It looks so nice. So big too. Yeah. Peace. So we come out. We're gonna. I think we're gonna go for a coffee shop. Looks nice. I don't know where we are in this part of Gothenburg. But we are building a well, nice massive clock there. We got like a bridge here. We got views. We got a clock there, that's awkward then, that's where we went before we were there. It looks nice. It's nice and sunny, we got a thingy there. And then on the other side, the other side of here, we got this, so as you can see. There are probably some shops on there. But that's nice that look if you you know, if you go like this. So we got shops. We got the Swedish flags, which is wow, which is nice. The other side of the river. Yeah. 
Well, statue there looks beautiful, man. It's, I don't, I don't know what to say. <laughs> Look at the buildings there. Eh? Look at all that. It's like it's based on the river. It's like it's been built on the river, like man. It's under. Yeah, it looks nice. Do you know you have proper road? Well, do you have roads? We don't have road markings. I could. It's proper peaceful and calm. We've got a Tesla shop there. I don't know how they're flipping what's inside that Tesla shop. We've got a Tesla shop which is impressive. And then I think we're going to head back that way. Yeah, go back that way. And maybe go back to hotel and stay in the hotel for a bit. Do our Zoho and that's all. And then maybe go out in the evening tonight. I might, yeah, I probably will go out in the evening to be honest. And go from there. It's only, what time is it now? It's only half one, and we've been out since like nine o'clock, not ten. Yeah, it's ten o'clock we've been out since. So guys, we came, we're just coming back now from the hotel, from our long walk and all that. And what it is, what I was going to say is that we went to this lady and she's a chap for all the information, you know, centre. And she's managed to give me a map. And we're going to go tomorrow, we're going to go see the landmarks. We saw one of the landmarks today. Go and see, go see the other landmarks, other places that we're not being. We've got two days left. We've got it's only Monday anyway, so Tuesday we're gonna go there tomorrow. Wednesday morning we might be able to go. We'll see how much we'll get in done tomorrow. Yeah, just go out tonight. Just come back from a long day. So it's been a long day. We're going back to the hotel today. It's been a nice day. Alhamdulillah, mashallah. We went to a travel information shop and the lady gave us the map with the landmarks. I go out today, might go out tonight, and tomorrow we'll go and see the rest of the landmarks, yeah? What a day it's been, that's day do you done. Well, nearly in day three tomorrow in Gothenburg. What a vlog. I might have to split this up to two, three vlogs maybe. Might do two. So we're gonna have something to eat. Drink a coffee, do my prayer, then we'll go out tomorrow with the map and then look at some landmarks. Peace, guys. We have come up to the 13th floor, yeah. And I tell you now, this hotel is probably the best one I've been in Sweden. Well, it's the only hotel I've been in Sweden. But look at this, look at that. You got the Goffin Towers. I thought it was the Goffin Beggars, Goffier Towers, them three all together. I want to see if we can go inside. I don't know if we can. And then you got the stadium there, like I was saying, from uh, our floor, from floor five. If you can see, and then they could look, just just appreciate the view, man. Alhamdulillah, mashallah, how long made it. It looks gorgeous. Mine is the crane and the building that's on construction, the other hotel. But my, oh my, it looks gorgeous. What I'm going to do is, I'm going to come in tomorrow morning, before sunrise, inshallah, at five, six, seven o'clock, I'm going to take a picture and sunrise, I'm going to record it for you. Do a little time lapse for it, innit? Just looks gorgeous and just look at it. You can see everything. Well, you can't see everything, but look, you can see all the hills and all that. And the way it looks, just go. I might make this my thumbnail, to be honest. Make this my thumbnail. Oh my god, I appreciate it. I'm gonna, we're gonna come back here before, after Mughal, before Mughal time. I'm gonna record it, record the sunset. Because it looks gorgeous, man. Just look, I just. Well, like the top, the, the highest floor you can go to is 13. That's the highest floor. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go to each side of the stairs, and because it's all window, I'm going to record that for you guys. Why not, innit? Why not? It's just breathtaking, just gorgeous. I like the way how, you know, over there, you got houses on the hillside. Can you see there? And as you pan a lot, you know, you got forests, you got houses, you got different buildings. Yeah, you got a crane. I might, I might go and have a look on the east side of the stairs for you. Do that, Bob. It looks, it looks crazy. It looks gorgeous. Peace.